On today's Yarn Spotlight, yarn expert Clara Parks is here with me to talk about a new spin on luxury. Welcome, Clara. Hi, Uni. So, what are we talking about today? Possum? Yes, we are talking about possum. Now, most people in North America, when you say possum, they think of the opossum with an O. Mm -hmm and they don't have that fond of an association with it. So I just want to set the record straight. This is not the North American possum. Okay. This, the fibers are from the Australian brush tail possum. Mm -hmm. And what happened was in the early 1800s in New Zealand, they thought they would set up a fur industry. So they imported all these possums to New Zealand, forgetting that there was no known predator for them uh, on the island. Uh -huh. <laughs> so they kept growing and growing and growing and growing. And unfortunately, they're kind of voracious eaters. Mm -hmm. So it's become a huge problem. There are millions of possums on the island. And um, starting in the 90s, the New Zealand government really urged people to try to come up with productive ways to use possum commercially. Mm -hmm. Now, luckily for us, possums have a deliciously beautiful short crimpy down undercoat. Oh, very interesting. Which is extremely warm. It's like 55% warmer than merino. Mm -hmm. And when you blend it with other fibers, especially merino, it has the same effect as like adding powdered sugar to the top of a cake. Is that a characteristic of down undercoats? A lot, yeah. Okay. Because it's, it's intended to keep the animal warm when mm -hmm. it lives outdoors in the winter. So what's cool about it from a knitting perspective mm -hmm. is that when it's blended, and this is a blend of 30% uh, possum and it has New Zealand merino and then silk on top of it. When it's blended, here, this swatch I hadn't washed yet. Mm -hmm. This is just like straight off the skein. This is what it looks like. But once you wash it mm -hmm. and you start to wear it, it develops this gorgeous surface halo. The fibers bloom out from the surface. And so you can see, I hope you can you can see on camera, um, there's sort of like a very fine, you know, that halo of slightly darker hairs. Is mm -hmm. that right? That's the possum itself? That's the possum itself. Okay. And the cool thing about possum, unlike other down undercoats that also create a bloom, is that it tends not to pill. Oh, that's very yeah. interesting. So you wear it, like the more you wear it, mm -hmm. the greater the bloom becomes, but it doesn't really pill. I have a pair of possum mittens that keep my hands warm mm -hmm. in Maine in the wintertime, year after year after year, and it doesn't pill. It's well, you know, it's so interesting. If you look even up here, yeah. you know, in the seed stitch portion, and I think of seed stitch as requiring more manipulation, you know, more handling to knit. Mm -hmm. um, and the bloom is so much more pronounced even there just yeah. from the knitting, it seems like. Yeah. Um, and the, the stitch definition is really great. Is that the merino kind of showing the, the showing the possum off in, in those cases? Yeah, that's the it's a plump foundation of merino from which the, the the silk gives you that glossy look, and then the possum rises like a halo. In a round three ply yarn like that, you do get the great three dimensionality mm -hmm. of your stitches. Works for cables, works for seed. What I like about it is that you get that that pronounced effect, but then the possum kind of smooths it out, softens mm -hmm. it up a little bit. There's that beautiful blurriness kind mm -hmm. of over the fabric. Mm -hmm. And then over here, this is just a lighter weight of the same blend? Yep, lighter, lighter weight of the same blend. This one I knit up in stockinette just to show at a really, at a, in a dense fabric, how mm -hmm. the fibers behave. But this is actually two plies instead of three spun together. Oh, I see. So what that's going to do is that gives you a really great three-dimensional uh, garter stitch. Mm -hmm. And with two ply yarns, I would love to see this knit up in lace. Mm. The more open, the better. Mm. With two plies, the plies are always pushing each other. They're pushing away from each other. Mm -hmm. And so when you knit it up into lace, into yarn overs and things like that, it really holds open the space. Mm. So you've got this open space of the yarn overs and then the halo from the possum fills in those holes. That makes sense. You can really see on this swatch all around the edges that mm -hmm. halo. And you know, I noticed that both, you know, all of the yarns that we have on the table have kind of a slightly heathered effect. Is that from, mm -hmm. are, are all, is, is the possum always darker? It's always darker and it's gonna take dye a little bit differently. Okay. So there's this, this beautiful kind of pickup of, you know, that, that richness of color to it. Mm -hmm. Well, how beautiful. I mean, we know that it makes really great accessories, right? You'd use mm -hmm. it for whole sweaters. I would totally do that. Okay, mm -hmm. and, um, and beautiful lace. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Clara.